वेलकम दिस इज हेना तलाटी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज टॉरेंशियल रेन्स हैव ट्रिगर्ड फ्लडिंग इन ब्राजील्स नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पर्नाम्बुको स्टेट किलिंग एट इस 56 पीपल इन द पास्ट फ्यू डेज अकॉर्डिंग टू द लेटेस्ट ऑफिशियल अपडेट the most dramatic event occurred early on saturday morning when 19 people died in a major landslide in the jardim montevede community on the border between the state capital recife and the municipality of the jabatao do gurarapes the heavy rains have also forced almost 1000 people to flee their homes due to the strong flooding and landslides Teams from the armed forces, the Ministry of the Defence and the Ministry of Citizenship were being deployed to assist in the relief operations and provide the necessary aid to affected families. The National Institute of Meteorology maintained its red alert through Saturday and Sunday in Pernambuco, its highest level of warning for flooding and landslides. More than 760 people have been forced to leave their homes because of the flooding in the Pernambuco. The executive secretary of the civil defense agency said in a video that about 32,000 families live in areas at risk of landslides and or flooding in the state. Schools in the city of Recife have been opened to receive the homeless. In Alagaos, another state in the region, two people died when they were swept away in river flooding on Friday. In Alagaos, the state government said that three municipalities have been declared an emergency due to the effects of the heavy rains in the past several days. Videos posted on the social media show wide flooded avenues in several municipalities, collapsing houses and landslides. Between Friday night and Saturday morning, the volume of rainfall reached 236 mm in some parts of the Paramampuco capital according to the mayor's office. That's equivalent to more than 70% of the forecast for the whole month of May in the city. The Pernambuco Water and Climate Agency said the situation could worsen as the rain will continue for next 24 hours in the state. Extreme rain has been fixed in the Brazil in recent months. December downpours killed dozens in the nearby Bahia and this weekend marks the country's fourth major flooding event in the past five months. In northern Guatemala, a woman and her six children died Saturday when the landslide engulfed their home, but the accident did not appear to be related to Agatha. The hurricane watch was issued for the parts of the coast of the southern state of Wuhaka, where Agatha could make landfall by Monday, perhaps in the areas around Puerto Escondido or the resort of Huatulcolco. While the storm could pack winds as high as 100 miles per hour as landfall, the center cited the risk of potentially life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides as its rain pounds the mountainous terrain of Wuhaksa. Uh, because the storm's current path could carry it over the narrow west of Mexico's Ithamas, the center said there was chance of storm's remnant could re-emerge over the Gulf of Mexico. Agatha, the first named storm of the Eastern Pacific season, is expected to strengthen to a Category 3 hurricane on Monday and bring an extremely dangerous storm surge and life-threatening winds to the southern Mexico, the National Hurricane Center said. The storm is expected to maintain its intensity through the landfall on the southern coast of Mexico on Monday afternoon or evening, then rapidly weaken over the southeastern Mexico Tuesday, the center said. Hurricane Agatha is the earliest first hurricane in the eastern North Pacific since 2015, said the research scientist at the Colorado State University. Maximum sustained winds were near 110 miles per hour Sunday night. Hurricane force wind extend outward up to 15 miles from the center and the tropical storm force winds extend up to 90 miles the center said. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.